टीचर टीचर फॉर यू so that you can listen and read this at the same time i'm going to read the text for you so that we can answer the next question this is the text here there are three speakers talking about recycling talking about waste jim helena and oliver There is no doubt about it. The world has got to do something about the crises of waste management. You are right. It's getting worse every year. I wish people would take the problem more seriously. Some countries take it very seriously. Austria in Nimsa. Austria for example recycles nearly 40% of its waste. that's still not even half but it's more than most countries where they simply bury most of their rubbish what does your family do about recycling we take all our waste glass and paper to special collection points in our family we recycle all our paper and all clothes We have masses of paper every week. Newspapers, magazines, all the letters, it's incredible. We do that in our family. But what about plastic? I wish we could I wish we could recycle plastic more easily. It is possible to recycle plastic but not everywhere has the equipment to reprocess it there are places where they recycle almost everything you know car batteries fridges wood clothes and shoes children's toys books that's fantastic i wish every country had a system like that the problem is that Recycling can be prohibitively expensive. It just isn't worth recycling some things. That's true. But there are two problems here. The earth is running out of resources and we are running out of places to bury all our waste. In some countries they burn their rubbish, but I don't think that's the answer. I mean burning gets rid of the rubbish but it also pollutes the atmosphere and what about green waste what do you mean green waste you know anything that has grown in the ground grass trees leaves and plants those of things are often recycled anyway People have always burned wood for heat or to cook with and the other green things are often used to help new plants grow that's real recycling I wish I was in charge of our country I'd pass a law to make it a criminal offense not to recycle 100% of household rubbish I concur but it's not households that produce the most rubbish supermarkets sell far too many things with several layers of plastic or cardboard packaging I wish they wouldn't do that let's answer the following questions listen 
again according to the speakers are the following statements true or false justify your answer one of the reasons some items aren't recycled is the prohibitive causes true or false justify your answer true thank you uh, b in most countries waste is burned true just fire answer muhammad mustafa in most countries uh, waste is burned uh, false assault. false can you correct it and, uh, it's burned waste it's is burned, burned. In most countries, waste is buried. Okay, thank you. C, the families of all three speakers recycle their paper. Michael. Uh, false. Uh, true, true. They all recycle the paper. True. They all recycle the paper. Good. D, there are still plenty of places where rubbish can be buried. True or false? Amir Muhammad Uthman. Um, false. Uh, there aren't uh, plenty of places uh, where rubbish can be uh, burned. Yes, there aren't enough places. Good. Burning unwanted rubbish causes pollution. Ismail. True. True. It causes what? Air pollution. Uh, because of the smoke. Because of the smoke. And James and James country, it is a criminal offense not to recycle the rubbish. Is it a criminal offense in James country? Kareem. Uh, false. He would make it a criminal offense if he were in charge of, uh, of his country. Yes. Yes, he wishes. He wishes he were in a charge of his country. He would pass a law to punish people who not recycle, who do not recycle rubbish. One hundred percent. Thank you. G. Homes produce more rubbish than big companies. Abdullah Mahmoud. False. Just uh, big companies. Uh, uh, big companies uh, produce more uh, uh, waste uh, uh, than household. Thank you. Okay, let's check the answer. One of the reasons some items aren't recycled is uh, prohibitive costs. That's true. It's prohibitively expensive. Recycling is prohibitively expensive. In most countries, waste is burned. This is false. In most countries, waste is buried under the ground. The families of all three speakers recycle their paper. True. There are still plenty of places where rubbish can be buried. False. There isn't enough place where rubbish can be buried. We are running out of rub uh, places where rubbish can be buried. Run out of. We will finish the places. Run out of. Burning unwanted rubbish causes pollution. Yes, of course, it causes air pollution. The smoke is burned in the air or the atmosphere. In James country, it is a criminal offense not to recycle rubbish. It's false. Jim would make it a criminal offense in his country if he were in a charge of his country. So he wishes he were in a charge of the country. He would pass a law to punish people who do not recycle rubbish. 100%. Homes produce more rubbish than big companies. That's false. As Abdullah corrected, big companies produce more waste or more rubbish than households. Now, 
think and speak, talking about recycling and environmental issues. You are going to read a short text. Read the short text and discuss these questions in pairs. The questions are not answered in the text. You are going to give me your uh, give me your opinion, your point of view. Discuss the questions. Read the text, please, to answer your question. There is a unity and balance between man and nature. Caring for the environment using the world's resources in moderation and protecting endangered species are therefore major concerns. We are all accountable, responsible for the damage done to our planet. For all these reasons, we bear responsibility for the condition of the world and its ecosystems, all of which are the creations of Allah. What are the most precious resources in Kuwait? Can you mention some of them, Karim? Oil and natural gas. Oil, natural gas. What about water, seawater? What about sunlight? Okay. Okay, teacher. We can, uh, they can look for minerals in the desert. Sand, sand can be uh, a precious resource. Sand, uh, seawater, oil, natural gas. Waste, of course. Paper, plastic yes, can sir. be the most precious resources. Yes. Yeah, Habib. Uh, please, if you want to speak, you can raise your hand. Uh, you don't, uh, it is not allowed to speak without permission. How seriously do people take the problem of waste and recycling in Kuwait? Do you think that people are interested in uh, uh, caring about the problem of waste and recycling in Kuwait? Mark uh, Yes, they care. All of them? No. Not all of them, yes. Uh, Amir Abdel Fattah. Uh, not serious and uh, reckless. Yes, not seriously. Good. Karim. They, they, are not, uh, they aren't interested uh, in recycling. But they should recycle their wastes because we it's our responsibility to do that. Yes, they should bear they should bear the respons the responsibility of caring and uh, cleaning or keeping the environment clean. So let's check the answer. What are the most precious resources in Kuwait? As you mentioned, we can see we can say that uh, oil, natural gas, sea, water, sand, uh, the desert, grass, paper, plastic can be the most precious resources. How seriously do people take their problem of waste and recycling in Kuwait? Kuwait had shown a considerable awareness of the need to recycle waste. الكويت أظهرت توعية ملحوظة بالحاجة لإعادة تدوير النفايات. The government now uh, takes care of recycle uh, their waste by classifying the plastic, paper, etc., and then uh, take them to collection points. It has started to build the recycling centers. بدأت الحكومة تبني تبني مراكز عتروير. It has started to build recycling centers. Besides campaigns for the importance of saving the natural resources, have have been launched in media. يعني حملات توعية بالمحافظة على الموارد الطبيعية بدأت تنطلق في وسائل الإعلام. Here uh, raising people's awareness uh, campaigns. Uh, by asking people 
to save water, to save electricity, to reduce our waste. Three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. So recycling is becoming a, such an important issue for people today. Why? Why is the recycling becoming such an important issue for people today? We have mentioned this question before yesterday. There are many reasons recycling is becoming such an important issue for people today. Kareem? Because it helps us to, uh, it, uh, to save our natural uh, precious uh, resources. Uh, which are running uh, running out uh, nowadays. Running out. Very good. And recycling is very important because the earth is running out of resources. People are running out of places to bury all their waste. الأرض بدأت ينفذ مواردها الطبيعية الموارده الثمينة precious resources. وكمان الناس بدأت تخلص أو تنهي أماكن دفن أوراد من النفايات. We are running out of places to bury their waste. There aren't enough places now to bury our waste. And also burning rubbish pollutes the atmosphere and causes global warming or causes pollution. كمان حرق النفايات بسبب بسبب تلوث. الغلاف الجوي سبب احتباس حراري. So there are three reasons why is recycling becoming such an important issue for people today. The earth is running out of our precious resources. People are running out of places to bury all their waste, and burning rubbish pollutes the atmosphere and causes global warming. The last one, thus. Recycling is the best solution. Therefore, recycling is the best solution. How do countries get rid of waste? Look at the pictures and the short answer. Countries get rid of their waste. How? Easy. Huh? Ahmed Majdi. Ahmed Ayman, countries get, uh, how do they get rid of their waste? By burning it, using incineration, al-maharaqa, burning it. By burning it in landfill site, يعني دفنها في النفايات, مكان دفن النفايات, or recycling it. يبقى طرق تخلص من النفايات ازاي? يا اما بالحرق, يا اما بالدفن, يا اما بتدوير. Okay. Why is, it, why is it important to recycle them? The earth is running out of natural resources. Burying and burning waste is causing serious dangers to the environment. How seriously do people take this issue of waste to recycle in Kuwait? Fighting pollution by all possible means. يعني محاربة التلوث بكل وسائل. Providing areas with waste collection points. توفير أماكن لجمع النفايات. اللي هي نقاط تجمع النفايات. Providing areas with waste collection points to help people separate their waste. إنها تساعد الناس على فصل النفايات. Classify their waste. Funding recycling companies. يعني تمويل الشركات عد عتدوير. يبقى الحكومة بتنشئ شركات لعتدوير وتوفر نقاط لجمع النفايات. بتعمل تو حملة توعية. Raising people's awareness campaign. This is a, a summary for the lesson. What is recycling? Recycling means processing objects to be used again. What are the benefits of recycling? It saves energy, it saves electricity, it saves water. Why is recycling paper important? The earth is running out of resources. We are running out of places to bury all our waste. And to reduce pollution, to save our environment, 
to save trees. What can we recycle? We can recycle many things like paper, metal, glass, plastic, rubbish, clothes. This is uh, uh, an outline. Are you for or against recycling? Some people are for, some people are against. They, you have to give the reason. Does it make sense to recycle? Is recycling important? This is the hook. Uh, does, uh, does it make sense to recycle? People who are for recycling, uh, because it can reduce pollution, it can save energy, it saves the environment, it saves money. Uh, some people are against because it hurts the environment if not planned. يعني بيقول لك الناس ضد التدوير لأن ممكن تأذي البيئة لو لم يتخطط جيدا. If it is not well planned, it leaves the remains on the streets. ممكن تفيكم في بقايا نفايات في الشارع. It not all is good quality. ليس هي جيد أو جيد يحصل عليه لا ليس هي ذات جودة عالية. Some objects cannot be recycled. في منتجات أو أشياء لا يمكن إعادة دورها. So my point of view, I am strongly for recycling. I agree. ترى طبعا فكرة تانية يا شباب ممكن تقرأها تعمل سكرين شوت وتقرأ خد فكرة عنها للموضوع ده. Some people are for recycling and some people are against. برضو شوف نماذج الأسئلة في السبوك دي اعمل سكرين شوت ليها. الأسئلة مهمة هتساعدك في كتابة موضوعات. Okay. I'm going to stop here so that you will be ready for the reading comprehension. I wish you the best of luck.